Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helton's Computer Repair, here with a video for you. On this video, I'm going to be showing you how to download and install Real VNC VNC Connect. So technically what this is, if you knew the old program called VNC, it was a very program that was used to pretty much to remote or monitor computers. Pretty much used at lots of district schools and stuff like that. Um, but it came to a point that you technically can set this up, that you can remote this computer outside the network. So pretend you're at home and you could be at work or somewhere else, let's say you're a traveler and you want to access your computer, then you can actually can remote into it. And this is a very good program, and they allow you to have this up to five, pretty much computers you can use, up to three users can be using it. The downfall is they kind of hide it, so it's not really easy to find, but on this video, I'll be showing you how to get this. So let's go ahead and get started. So first thing you do is go ahead and just go to Google Chrome. Once you get to Google Chrome, just go ahead and type in realvnc.com and you should get to their site and pretty much from this point you're going to see where it says take 30 days or buy vnc we actually don't care we're just going to go ahead and select the buy and ignore this it tells us that we have the professional or the enterprise and they're not too much if you ever decide to purchase these but we don't need that what we're going to do is go ahead and add the download button right here once you get to there on your computer that you're going to be used to remote in is called the VNC server. So you will select that. This can pretty much be installed on a Windows, a Mac, a Linux, and there's Raspberry Pi. And if you know what these other ones like Solaris and HP UX or AIX, then go for it. If not, don't even worry about it. At this point, we're pretty much going to install the Windows version. So I'm going to go ahead and download the VNC server and let this file finish downloading. So program is installed or well, downloaded before we can get installed. And pretty much you'll come to this point. I'm going to go ahead and just exit the browser. I don't need any more. And it tells us to choose what language. I'm going to go ahead and leave my English one there and press OK. It shows the VNC server 6.7.2. This one might change over time. Go ahead and select it. It tells you that it will install this program on your computer. Go ahead and press next. And it tells us about the end license agreement. If you want to read it, go for it. I'm actually just going to hit and select I accept and press next. And you can also have the ability to also print files to that printer pretty much from it across from there. Um, I'll go ahead and just leave it as is and press next. And it tells you, you want to add an exception to the firewall. I would say be sure that you check that. If you have your firewall pretty much enabled, it pretty much might be blocking it. So be sure you check this. Depending if you have another antivirus, maybe like um, malware bytes or VNC, not VNC, um, uh, AVG or Avira or Vast, then you might need to be sure you have these firewalls allowed to pass through there. From that point, go ahead, but for the rest, go ahead and press next and select install. You'll probably be prompted, go ahead and press yes. And it's pretty much installing and it says that it's there. From this point right here, I'm actually going to go ahead and sign in. If you do not have an account, please just create one. You'll pretty much have to create an account, put information. When you do create the account, be sure you're using for personal use, home use, not for business. And another feature you need to be sure on this is you might need to be verified. So it pretty much send an email to you and to accept that for it to work. When you sign into this computer too, it might probably get an email telling you that you need to accept this depending on what IP it is for it. Go ahead and accept it too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just sign in now. And right here, send anonymous usage data. You can actually can uncheck that. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not a big fan of sending data because they already pretty much track almost everything we do already. And for that part, I'm going to go ahead and press sign in. It's checking the availability for real VNC services. And it tells us that you have a 30 day, 30 day. But what you're going to do is home restrictions for commercial use only. So this means it's for non commercial, that means it's for personal use only. So be sure if you're using this to remote to your personal computer. If you do have a business, it's not that much you can buy for the professional or if you want to use it for enterprise, go for that option too. But this is for home use only. So I'm going to go ahead and press next. From this point, go ahead and type in a specific password. This password that you put on your computer is what you're going to use when you go somewhere else and you're going to remote in. So here I am. I'm going to go ahead and sign in the password and then press next. Oh, did not match. So let me see. So the password I tried to put was pretty much the same as my account. So I'm actually going to change this to something different. So it seems they pretty much know what you have related to your account. So here I am. I put a different one. And it tells us the name of the computer. You can actually can name this. You see it's using from cloud connecting from it. I'm going to go ahead and name this my 
I'm gonna say desktop and I'm gonna say it's virtual computer this is one that I do have and I'm gonna go ahead and press apply you'll probably be prompted go ahead and press yes and pretty much let it do its work it might take a little second so give it a little time and it tells us that I've used one out of the five abilities to remote in now you're gonna think that technically that that's it but you will need to install the program or you want to install the VNC viewer for this to work on your computer going to remote in. This is what you should see. It tells you what your identity is, what your signature, what everything's information is set. It tells me the name of it and it is here. So to make sure that this actually works, I'm actually going to remote into my computer that I have and pretty much see if I can remove the mouse and stuff underneath this from my other computer. So let's see what happens. All right, guys, so technically I finally got the program installed from my other computer and actually I'll bring it over here to show you if I can bring it to the selection. Here it is. This program is not installed on this because technically this computer right now is a virtual computer. So you won't see real VNC. You see real VNC, but there's only, well, technically there is the viewer. You're actually viewing mine right now underneath it. But on underneath this computer, it's not being there. So I see a VNC. We only have a server there. So what you were seeing right now was pretty much my computer that I have on right now. So I'm going to go ahead and remote into this. And we'll see what happens. You'll probably be prompted for this. Go ahead and press continue. And again, you'll type in the password that you typed in for the security before you remote in. And here we are. We literally have a computer that's pretty much remoting into computers. Watch. I'm going to X this out. And I'm going to slide this over. And move this out here. So here we are. You don't see it. Here's the mouse right now. I'm gonna go ahead and go to this computer. Here it is. X this out. And it's pretty much being remoted from here for it. And that's pretty much it. I'll be showing you how to make another video of how to install the VN the real VNC viewer on there, but that should be another video for you. Thank you for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.